Hello, everyone. I'm just trying to find it on my iPad real quick. Yep. Because that's my dad in the background. He used to be illiterate with technology until the pandemic hit. Literally. Now, you think I'm joking, but I ain't. <laughs> Right. Um, hello everyone, welcome to our Thursday night. Oh my god, I'm on time. Holy poo, people. This week we have been more organised and on time than what we have been ever. Well, that too, hey. Well, good question. So tonight we are going to be peeling the skins. Um, also, just a heads up, if your Facebook is it working? Oh, hello, Tanya. If your Facebook is not working, uh, we are uh, streaming this to my YouTube channel. Um, or if your YouTube's not working, you can come and hop on Facebook. So just as a heads up, we do it in multiple locations because sometimes people's YouTube works better than their Facebook and sometimes their Facebook works better than their YouTube. Um, which is interesting. Oh, hello, Marie. Um, yes, everything is going well today. Um, so yeah, so tonight we're going to peel the skins. I'm a little bit nervous. Not going to lie, because I realized that some of these are a bit thin. So, fingers crossed. Hello, Sandra. Um, when they are a bit thin, it is hard to peel, but we're going to start with Probably this one here to warm up because it's got less of the collage items in it. So, and I feel like it might be a little bit more successful than the others. So we're just going to come in and we're going to pick it kind of like a scalp. I know I probably should use a better analogy. I'm trying to think of one, but I literally can't. Well, you know, I'll say that next time someone's picking a scab. Um... <laughs> I used to say the same thing for peeling tape at kids' classes, and parents used to stare at me, and I was just like, it's relatable, isn't it? Sorry about that. You couldn't see that. So we're just going to come in and pick, and we've got to go in and make sure that all of our things, it's kind of like peeling a label of a box. The more continuity you have at the beginning, the better chances of you getting it off in one piece oh my god and of course by the way my nails are absolutely terrible would you believe that swimming in chlorine six days a week does not help your nails <laughs> are you sure? oh, I'm quite positive at this point okay here we go so how many skins did you make? Uh, I made five. However, I don't think two of them are going to peel because I made them too thin. Sorry. If you do have bad nails like me, maybe a palette knife might work. We might try that. Second. Oh, hello, Diane. Hi, Pam. Yeah, Marie. <laughs> um... Hi Tash, so we're just coming in. Honestly, I just need to get this bit here. Sounds like Sandra knows a too. Oh, one minute. I can't see her comment. Ah, uh, I have to agree with you about the chlorine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, I love swimming, but it's killing my hair and my nails. Uh, Some of the sharks are Yeah, and the fact that it ain't heated and we're still in winter. Boy, let me just jump for joy. Yeah, well, when I was living in Brisbane, the pool heater didn't work for about a month and they forgot to tell all of us swimmers. So we just thought we were all going mad. Nope. It was actually just cold at the pool, and um, it was at the beginning of that uh, first cold snap. Yeah. So, you know, all of us just thought our temperature gauges were off, but no, it was definitely 
the pool here, we found out, after they fixed it. There we go, people. We're on a win. And, oh, and he's peeled. One done. Oh, no. See, look. Once you get it started, it's just like peeling a label. Thanks, Dad. So that's that one. And as you can see, that is super thin. Like, the collage, for you to be able to do this on your art journal pages normally, because it has two layers on it, it would be a lot thicker on your collage layers, whereas this is nice and thin and very usable. Oh, it came off. Look at that. That's awesome, sweetie. So that's one. How did you do it? <gasps> Oh, you'll have to watch the class from last you'll have week. To watch the class. <laughs> right, and then here we go. So we're gonna come and peel here, are you having a, milk or one a you next milk? one. Oh, thank you guys. So we're going to try and peel another one of these because I do want to get around to making, um, I did leave my art journal at the shop. Sorry. Um, I do want to get around to using one of our skins or maybe two of our skins on an, um, on an artwork tonight. Dee's just joined us. Oh, hello D. Hello Debbie. For those who have just joined us, we're just picking off our um what's it called our skins and to do this the best way is to start off it's all good uh the best way is to try and get it all off in one hit like a shipping label on a box by making sure that you go along the most stable edge so um the edge that's thickest because that's the easiest to peel and then once you've got it you just kind of work with it and it might not come off fully in one piece but that's okay folks okay. that's all good and here we go What's that? this is the one with the butterflies <gasps> and would you look at that that's the butterfly one. Oh, hello trish so this is our butterflies skin. It's quite nice. And it's got our sequins in it. Diane G says double wow. Oh, thank you. So we got we got two so far. We're on a roll. We might be able to peel all five, but like I said, I'm pretty sure two of these actually are not going to peel well because they they seem quite thin now that I've gone back. Because wow. we've let them dry for a week, which is great that we've left them for a week. It means that, unfortunately, um, it does get thinner as it dries. Because it's on a sheet of plastic, so it does spread a little bit. Um, so these two might be a bit flaky. Debbie H says, well, that's beautiful. Cash G says, that's awesome. And Tanya M says, love the butterfly on my skin. Marie K says, beautiful, I love that one. And Pam says, hi D, any signs of your bird? Oh yeah, has your bird arrived back? Probably should have checked on that first, sorry. And then we're just going to come in and try and peel this one off. So this one here was a bit easier because of the gauze in it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, D. And then, so, uh, okay, we did this on the back of this packaging packet. Whose idea was that? Probably mine. Thank you, Noel, for your ever-growing support. Right, there we go. So that one there is peeled. So that one there was just a little bit easier because oh hello Marge because the gauze in it made kind of like a mesh layering and the big piece of vellum in it. Well we hope your bird comes back, Dee. You, you never know. Might come back tomorrow. So that's 
that one there. I don't know if you can see that texture in there. I'm going to try and get it so that it doesn't glossy. They do turn out to be a little bit glossy when you do use the glue as the bottom layer just because um, they've been stuck to plastic all week. Right, now here comes the thin ones. Oh, no, we actually made six. It's me saying five, four. I really can't count today. I also miscounted the number of people in my lane at the pool today. We had eight people in one lane. It was mad. D says thank you. It's all good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This might end a bit sad on this one. But you never know. Just trying to get it so it comes off all the way. You know how it is. Peeling our skins off. Um, also, for anyone who still wants to book into the tropical ambience retreat, the cutoff date is tomorrow. Heads up. Well, that still remembering that one. My mom just wanted me to give you all a little bit of a reminder that the cutoff date is tomorrow, and we um, mom finished designing the range today. It looks absolutely amazing. See, one here is just a bit of shorter because it is, like I said, thinner. Ah, here we go. Let's see if we can connect it to. Oh, oh, maybe this is where it gets difficult with the thin bits. I'm literally gonna have no nails left after this. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay. I'm resided to do it in two strips. So that's strip uno of that one. It looks pretty nice. So yeah, it was just because some bits of it were a bit too flat. But that's okay. We'll come in and get the other bits. This one here was most likely going to be torn up anyway, just because it would be better used as a torn up piece in collage than a full one. So that's okay day. We just need to get the rest of it. Peeled. There's that bit as well. And then gosh, this is why I shouldn't make things thin, Naomi. What's that one. Here we go, here we go. Oh! And there we are. I don't know if these dot bits are going to be able to come off just because the clear gesso is just a little bit too thin and the yellow dots don't give it the body it needs. Oh, hold up. Maybe. Yeah. I think you got, you're onto something there, Trish. Maybe putting a message out, especially to like your neighbors and stuff like that, because your birdie might end up in one of their yards. 
especially if you live in like a very residential type area. Um, Tristan is sorry. Yes. Oh, have you already read that one? Uh huh. I'm actually pretty good at keeping up with my comments. Now that I say that. Okay, now these are the two that I don't know are actually going to appear well. Because, yeah, it's very thin, so we're just going to have to work it. Is this other one? Is he gonna peel as well? Nope, that's okay. We'll do some fixing up in of this watch here. It's all good. Alright, so we used green on that one and we used this cover um, on this one here. Rick says our local supermarket has a notice board where people can place messages about missing pets, etc. or things happening in the community. Um, Debbie H says so was this just one paint? I can't remember. Oh, okay, yeah. So, oh, yeah, dear, I hope it comes up. You've posted everything. Oh, that's good. That lots of people are keeping an eye out for him. Okay, yeah. So, basically, with these ones here, um, so this one here was with the stamping and paint, and this one here was just the paint. But they are super thin, um, which they're probably just the bit, just a little bit too thin, like that clear gesso area as well on that other one that went a little bit strippy. So what we're going to come and do is we're just going to come and add another layer and leave it for another week. But we're going to make it a bit thicker. This is so then we can actually peel it. This is the cheats way of fixing it. So I'm going to make it sure that I can clearly peel one end of it by leaving some nice dollops. And by leaving these dollopy bits here, it'll make it easy to peel. Um, and because I'm just using the exact same color as it was last week as well, it means that you're not going to notice it once you use it as collage. It's just so then it can come back. So we're just going to do the fixing up in on the other one as well. And we'll leave those until next week. Because like, I'm not one to waste anything I do. Oh, and that sequin is stuck on my... Oh, nice. Yay! Yes, um, I'm sorry if you can hear me breathing a little bit this week. My asthma is playing up a little bit. Um. I think it's just been cold for a little bit too long for me. I don't know. It's just great. Absolutely lovely. Right. Let's see how that one there goes as well. Now we've got dollops of him. And let's get out our watercolour paper and we shall start. Yay! Oh, why is that not plugged into my phone? Sorry, people, I was getting the charger onto my phone when I was doing everything right. Here we go. So I did collect a few collage pieces to use while with our skins. And because I don't have my art journal here this week, because I kind of left it at the shop by accident, 
uh, which is okay because I'll just um, put two holes in them and we can stick them back in the art journal soon. Oh, that's my proof. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Yeah, just, it ain't fun. I don't know. I was okay on the weekend at Morayfield, even though it was a little bit colder than when it was back here at home. But, yeah, it just kind of hit today. And I was like, mm, this is a new interesting concept. So I think we might leave this one. So I want to use this, I don't know, maybe on a card or something. It's very much its own thing. So I'm going to actually put that to one side, somewhere where I'm not going to get paint or anything on it. And I think I might use this one here with these pieces. And I think I also might put the green one with the gauze aside. But because I don't have my art journal here, and like it's still optional where or not we're going to stick this in our art journal, what we can actually do is... I can make it a little bit more 3D this time around and make some really like big clusters of collage, which I think is fun because I don't do them often on classes just because art journals um, have spines and you know you've got to keep things kind of nice and thin so then they don't become like crocodiles. But they are just working outside of it this week, so. Yeah, I swim in a heated pool, but I don't know. Who knows? Honestly. Are they extending the heated pool here? Um, they are, but they've heated the 50 meter pool while they work on the heated pool. Very complicated, I know. And they're um, extending the big pool's lines. Well, that's just rumor. Oh, yeah. Right, so yeah, it's not fun. But here we go. So we're going to lay this out. I'm going to do a bit more of a thicker type um, thing. We're not going to actually use that just yet. I want to use that for something else. But So I do have a few stencils I can use and some colour cuts and rice paper. I have a lot of stuff. I was also, because I've done some shopping and I've got the hibiscus um, art by Marlene stencil, the new one, and I've also got this uh, Neo Color watercolor paint set that I really want to try out first, and then we might go in and stick some collage down and everything else like that. But I do like this layout bit, so I might try and remember that as we go into it all. Can you open that one for me? Thank you. Right, yes, went shopping, had lots of fun. Now going to use my shopping. Uh, I have Mum's fussy cut scissors, which you're not allowed to use on packaging, as I have learnt many of times. All right, so we're just going to put that off to there, and then we're going to come in and use our watercolors, our new ones. You've got my watercolors. Thank you. So this is our watercolor set. Oh, they look nice. There's another brush. No, I get the brush. All right. I thought he's keeping one of my brushes. No. It's my shopping. Don't get me wrong. I am living in your house at the moment, but it's mine. All right. So first things first. I kind of want to see. All of these colors look like. Uh, which brush are we going to use? We're going to use the hard edge one tonight, so we won't use the big one. Yeah, I was thinking I've had very small pans and I still have them from like when I was 16. So, so I'm assuming this is Dance King Queen, this burgundy slash. Oh, I think it's more of a purple. <gasps> Oh, that's a nice colour. This is the Neo set. So we're just gonna come on. We don't I don't want to use too much of my paints from the set because you know like Oh yeah. Watercolor goes a long way. Oh that's poodle skirt. That's cool. Poodle skirt? Is that the name of it? Well, I'm pretty sure P O O D L E and then skirt. Poodle skirt. Yeah. A bit like the colours we used to name Basil Cardstocks. Or Lindy's Mists. Yeah, 
I think these mists have some pretty crazy names. Right, and then that one there's Danger Zone. We can kind of see how that one works. This one here is Kiss Me. Oh. Um, no. And this one here is Disco Fever. <laughs> yeah, this is like, you know, like highlighter colors. I've just realized that these are pretty much highlighters. You could use these as replacement highlighters if you run out of highlighting. Tanya thinks those colors look terrible. I think that's what are pretty colors me. Oh, ha, ha, ha. very funny. And that one there's cancelled tonight. That's pretty cool. So after I just did that first, just so that I knew kind of what the colors looked like, because the colors can look a little bit different, especially this Dancing Queen from what it looks like in the um, trays. Uh, because there's so much of it together in one section, which is how that works. So let's see what we can do here. So I do have my old, um, well, not my old. I have my Stamperia stencil here with the butterflies. And I also have my hibiscus one. So I just want to come in and do maybe some light butterflies. Because I do love butterflies. Yeah, and then we'll come and do. Stencil? Pardon? The yes, this is the new hibiscus art by Marlene Stencil. Noah sold that to you yet? No, he also hasn't sold me the watercolors. Right. By the way, people, I went shopping about five minutes before class. Best I'll be doing that. Because I was kind of like, ooh. Been, it's been a bit of two busy days because we've unpacked and redid this, uh, rehung everything from the Marfil show that we had uh, left. I still remember the flavor. Uh, well, it turns out Dad hasn't done his part. Um, oh. And then <laughs> started cutting for Melbourne and the uh, Minte event that's coming up. And then uh, by Melbourne, I mean the Melbourne Craft Show. Sorry, I've just been calling it Melbourne because that's where I'm going with it. Um, and... Paperific. Paperific. And then I am also started uh, my part-time role at my old employers remotely, which means I'm just doing their marketing, which is really nice. Right. So here we go. So we're just coming in, trying to get all of this down pat. So I'm just doing a bit of a light brush, or trying to, at the very least, with these neo colors to get some butterflies. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll lift that up to show you. So that's my butterflies there. That's I'm gonna, Stamperia yeah, that's this is the Stamperia butterflies one. Oh, we don't. Okay. Um, we do have some similar ones. I I think we had some safari ones and a clock one. I just bought the butterfly one because I love butterflies. Yes. Okay, Dad. There's an Amazonian bird. Well, that might work. Parrot. There's a parrot. Oh, he sold it to me. Sorry. Don't get too excited. Oh, really? Is it rhinoceros? A rhinoceros. Now, when people say rhinoceros, all I can think about is like the second verse in um, Molyneux's best song from Tangled. Right. Which is like, go ahead, go and get trampled by a rhino. It's like, okay. <laughs> Not everybody uh, enjoys Disney princess movies as much as I do. I understand that, Dad. I really do. I can remember the um, statements made. I, I do understand that, but I feel like it's definitely a skill that will never help me get employed. <laughs> no. But I have it. It's never going to happen. Actually, you never know. One day. Oh, hello, Diane. Daniel. Tanya loves Tanya. Oh, there you go. Well, then, Tanya, did you know there's a whole verse of that song that doesn't play in the movie? Yes, and it's the one that uh, that verse of "Go and get trampled by a rhino" is not in the movie. Don't know why. It just seems a bit gruesome. But like, 
like <laughs> I'm telling you. I do, but I have a wet yellow thing on it, so there we go. Uh, mask. 86, there you go. All right, mask 86 for anyone who's looking up the code of the hibiscus. It's a bit of a quick one. Uh, a bit, uh, you know, if you just type in hibiscus, it's like the second thing that comes up, right? It's a bit, um, uh, Hard to find? No, get smart is number 86. There's a show, that's which one we want to find. Yep, I don't know what you're talking about, right? I want to put this one over the join. So then our two pages connect because I didn't do that with the yellow. And we definitely want to make sure our pages connect. So then when we put them side by side, if I do in the art journal, it kind of looks like they were made together, not just me going, oh, we'll do something here and something there. And hope to the Lord it works together. Um, it's kind of like writing an essay, you know, you've got to have everything nice and neat. Um, I don't think neat's the right word, by the way, but I will get there. Um, let's see, we might do, we could just do primary colours tonight, yellow, blue and red, yeah, maybe we'll do those, let's see, here we go, even though our skins aren't primary colours, that'll be fine. Digi said, uh, Digi said, my business was tempting, interested how it looks. Oh, yes, let's see how it looks. So, um, also, with these watercolour techniques, using watercolours with stencils, make sure you use a straight end paintbrush. Sorry, I should have explained that at the beginning. And a light hand, you don't need too much water, especially for these thin ones. However, it just applies it nice and quick, especially if you don't want to get your paints out or your, um, your paints and sponges out, because I know for certain that my sponges are at the bottom of one of my big art crates. And... Um, how can I lose, I've got a 10 also, if anyone has seen my dad's 10 gallon pot from the retreat, please let us know because he's it's lost it. 10 gallon. It's, just a, it's a crab cooking pot. It's a crab cooking pot. There you go. It's silver. I think it's got a gold base underneath. It's great for doing lots and lots of pasta. Retreats. It's great for cooking pasta, apparently. Um, I don't know how you lose the biggest pot you can own. It is the biggest pot we own. However, I would just like to point out, this man has only just figured out that he's lost a pot after how many weeks of retreat? I figured it out last week. I was just reluctant to own up to missing a big pot. Because <laughs> <laughs> it means that you've lost the pot. <laughs> this is going to get so many jokes out of it, man. You wait for it. We'll still be on the subject next week. Tune back in about the missing pot. You wonder why I was worried about owning it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Never. It's not because our family's judgmental. That brush works really well. Yes, it's made for this. So this brush actually comes with a set. Which is nice. It comes with this break brush. and the intruder to it. Good point. That's what they were after. <laughs> a nice pot. However, we did move me before the retreat. Oh, bugger, we did too. <laughs> <laughs> I that plane's blown. I used it at retreat. So you also get this paintbrush with um, it, which is perfect for making uh, big flowers and you get this small one, which is great if you're using it on the go because it holds the water within it. Imagine that in the police report looking for a person carrying a large pot. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then so that's the hibiscus. That actually looks quite nice. I think that looks really nice. I don't know about you guys. Right, and then I'm just going to come over here and add some more, maybe. This paintbrush works amazingly. It's amazing what happens when you use the right paintbrush for the right technique. Marie said it looks terrible, but stop it. No, she said it looks beautiful. 
to say if it, if you do have a complaint, please let me know. Trish said there's no noise. Oh, thank you. I'm sorting Trish down the phone. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, the big news in Gladstone is, is that they're doing something with the KFC bucket. <laughs> yes, the KFC bucket is down. KFC bucket is down. Goodness knows what. There was a few years where our KFC bucket did end up in Rockhampton for some reason. And then it ended up back in Gladstone. It got hit by lightning too. It did. It set the park across from it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you go away for one month and all of a sudden something, something happens in Gladstone. But while you're in it, nothing happens. <laughs> I'm sold. We'll have to get that one. It's a really nice background one. I think it would actually look really nice on pages. Like you could do it down and then do a photo mount with your photo on top of like a bit of it. So like the hibiscus is like coming out of the photo. So it would look really nice. There we go. So we're just going to put that one up there. Right. Yeah. Sometimes stencils are a bit iffy when you're looking at them. Um, so yeah, oh yes, great chat. Oh, that must have been in a chatty mood. It's because I was begging Trish to stay there. Uh, uh, if we go with plan driving dad down. Oh, okay. Because we're worried about flights and stuff and crates. Oh, of course. The world of adults. Yeah. You've got to have 27 plans before you come up with one plan. No, thank you. So I'm just going to get some of my police paint out. Maybe. Literally because it's on top. And I kind of did say that I was going to stick to a... What happened to primaries? The primaries. This is a primary blue. This is a blue. That's navy. It's still classified within the primaries. It's a section of blue. It's a section of blue. It's in with the blue family. It's a bit like Neil your jokes being paid. Okay, righty -o, then. Are you telling me that I don't know my colour theory? I'm an artist that graduated with distinction. How are you going to open a car, eh? Yeah, open the door. <laughs> <laughs> I never taught her that joke. <laughs> she didn't understand it to begin with. It's all lava made off. She thought I'd get it. <laughs> and she was the one that told it to me. Well, maybe she heard it at school. Yes, she did, but she didn't understand it. Now she understands. Hold on. I don't really understand it either. I kind of just think it's stupid because she's just opening a door for a human. What's so funny about opening a door for an elf? Does it translate to elephant or something? Oh, it's the simplicity of it. Right. Okay. Obviously, my humor is just not the same as yours. With the blue police, I just put it up there for you, die. It comes in a set too. Is it the Moody set that comes in? Oh, I've got no idea. It's the latest one, I think, with the cheese and everything I like in the it. Cheese. Oh, it's got the cheese and yellow. Yes, of course you do. No, Moody is not the one, die. That's calm. It might be calm. No, that's what Jay said. Sorry, people, I'm just trying to look for my yellow now. Found much easy. So this is the same paint that we used in the other one as well. That's all right. Oh, there we go. And we're going to use this one for a few stamps. We will get around to putting the collage down in a second. People, more. I'm just trying to get a few like layers in there first before we go in and do our next things. I'm just trying to find where I put my steps that I kind of arranged. Fortunate. Oh, is it up here? It is. Would you look at that? And I've grabbed the wrong ones anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Um, don't worry about me. I'm just having a moment. Okay. We go. So we want, I think we want this scribble down here. And then what we want to do is we just want a little bit of our 
Big happy in Alaska. I'm glad you're just starting to remember the paint set, Dad. I'm going to come in and do a few of these coming out of our hibiscus, I think. Also, oh, there's a high probability that we're not going to make it within the hour. Peeling the skins of oh, a couple of minutes, probably about. Yes, because it was nice and thick and lovely. Okay, so it's intense. Is the one that police and cheese you. That's a good Marie. Oh hi, Lise. Oh, there's no need to beg, says so Trish. Okay, cool beans. So I'll just put this up because this has got the yellow and the blue you're using. And they are so much great value in that set. Yeah, they are cheaper also if you buy them in the sets, which is nice. So. $41.95 for six paints. So. Good save. Yeah, pretty good. Right now we've got some of those stamped. What we're going to come and do next is we're going to do our collage. Now we've got, we just need some backing down first because I want to make sure my layers kind of connect a bit. So let me grab my skinny bits, my skin bits. Ooh. So I know I said I was going to use primaries and yet my skins don't really have primaries on them, but meh, that'll be fine. Thank you. Oh, you didn't see the butterfly one. It's sitting over there. Two of them weren't able to peel, so we had to put another layer of paint on them just to make them a little bit thicker. Um, yes, you can use cutting dies. However, they are quite thin, so when you put the pokey tool through them, just a heads up, it goes through. It goes through. So if you are going to cut them, just make sure you're able to get it out of the die without having to use a pokey tool. So non intricate dies is what we're Yeah. So like squares. Not doily dies. No. You'll never get it out of a doily die. Although if you put a piece of glad bake in between, even that's a bit risky though for you. Yeah, I don't know. We could try it next week with one of the skins that is a bit plainer that will peel. We're not using any of your mother's dies to do that. I no, won't we'll use one of mine. I've got a few art by Marlene ones. Oh, you just got to make sure they're of good brand as well because putting a couple of layers in between means that they need to be actually, like, you know, mm. real nice. You know what you've got? You don't want one that goes tight, otherwise it'll get stuck. Yes. Right. Now that we are starting to layer, woo! Actually, I think this is going to go over this side here. Right, and then let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> oh, I'm TO people. I know this has nothing in relation to what we're doing, but I like the circle. So I'm just going to come in and cut this one out. <laughs> I told you we're going to do a bit more of heavy collage tonight. Which is why I said we're probably, definitely not going to make it within that hour zone. I'm sorry, peeps. Luckily, the Mixed Media Olympics is not starting tonight, or else we would be off to a bad start. It was a thing that happened last night. Don't worry, Dad. You missed a lot of inside moments. Yeah. From class. Had a few discussions. Mum finally agreed that skulk is probably not the best terminology for some of our customers. For the ones who only watch. So we're going with either virtual viewers. <laughs> That's a very good point, Sandra. I'm sorry, but it seems interesting that you spent so much time trying to get the skins off in one piece and then you ripped them apart. Well, 
Yes, it's because I didn't know what I was going to do with them to begin with. And I wanted the option to be able to keep it whole. You should be a diplomat there, Sam, using terminology like that. <laughs> I reckon most crafters should be diplomats. Jeez. Have you seen the way that they're able to go through craft shows? I'm going to tell you right now. Just. The Morrowfield one was really nice. It wasn't too hectic, but some of them do get quite busy. I remember at my first one, um, a lady accidentally ran over my toes with her wheelie walker about six times. Three broken toes later. And it was only day one. I learned very quickly. I'm sure mum, yeah, looked after you. Mum? I gotta go get a little girl to bed because it's a bit late. And she's uh, hiding in plain sight for the mother. Yeah, she is right up on the. Amazing at being able to sculpt staying up like Oh, yeah. She could get a degree in it. Okay. And then, so we're just coming through and adding all our little bits and pieces. And then, there, I think I want to put down some gauze. And then the scores can come out here. Let's go. The scores can come out. Oh. I didn't rip the man apart. My well, little under the sea man. He, he's still full. See? And then what I'm going to do is I've just got this receipt here. From one of my shopping bills that I did because I used to do online shopping when I wasn't living with my parents. And then just until I save up for a car and then put that on there. And then put that one maybe there. Well, so it's just trying to get some layers in there. Yeah, see, Trish, I don't know. I thought it was just me being clumsy. Who knows? Um, <laughs> that's a good Pam I have learnt that um, the best solution is to keep all toes underneath tables works like a treat yes yeah it's definitely elbows up at craft shows as my um Dad says um, when walking into something, it's elbows up. That's when you know you're getting serious. And then put that one there. So, like I said, we're just trying to build up our layers by having a few um, bits and pieces underneath. They're not pieces of collage that you technically have to be real um, interested in or related to. It just kind of has to all. Doesn't even have to be in the same color palette as can be proven. Now and then, I want the little alley there. I reckon, or do you reckon an owl should sit out in the open, maybe, with like the ribbon coming? And then, I don't know. And then some of our fantasy florals. 
Yes, people, I went digging. I also mucked up this packet of fantasy florals. I ripped one of them by accident when peeling. So, I like Mewi. And then. That may be it's craft shows are such a good way to meet um, other crafters because sometimes you don't even realize people live in the same area as you or you don't you just don't seem to run into each other but when you do it's great. Meet some amazing people there. Well, everyone's amazing there, so you know. It's not some, it's all. Okay, and then we go that one, and then I think I want this one here to come out. So yeah, I accidentally ripped this one while peeling it, so it became mine today. I commented it. I do, I don't make too many mistakes when peeling, but I do have a few every now and again that happen and it's kind of like, oh, okay. This happened. Then try and make the most of it. I try not to do too many. So it ends up being like you get them in freebies because that's what your freebies are. It sets up color cuts more than likely where I've accidentally ripped one or two of them in the process. Which ain't really that fun, and that's a flare button. And then maybe I do have some foil here that I kind of want to use. Um, if we use some alcoholics. Oh, on Saturday we shall see you then. Sounds amazing. Because yes. Actually, I don't know if we need too much of that rice paper. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So we're going to stick it down, but because we want some height on it, I'm actually going to use modeling paste, which will give it a bit of height. It does mean I need to be a bit wary of where I put it because it is going to dry completely white, apart from whatever paint we get on top of it. But, um, yeah, so I just want to get this down with some modeling paste, like I said, to get that height to it and that body. Because by doing that means we can actually make some thicker bits and pieces. So we're going to come in and I'll lift that up so they can see. I'm going to spread it down and then push down and then do the other side. So you can see I am going to get full coverage. I am quite doing used to doing artworks like this, so if you're not too confident with how to do gluing like this type, where you go bit by bit and just kind of um, make sure you've got everything, it just comes with a little bit of practice. Because if you do leave any gaps, it will leave air holes, so you just want to make sure that you get it all, that when you stick it down, any bits that you weren't quite sure you got, get it in there eventually and then come in and you slot that piece underneath there it's just some tricks trade and then come in of course the gauze is going to be a bit of a problem that's okay so we just do that bit Try and stick the gauze down now. Okay, and then stick that piece on there. Thank you, yeah, so, um, Especially if you are doing something that you just want a bit of height in and you need a few layers underneath and you don't really care about what they look like because they're most likely going to be covered in paint, not going to lie, but the receipt is. 
Um, just, yeah, use some old receipts. Damn, and they're gonna come on Saturday. Yeah. And then I'll be the handsome looking black in the blacks. Oh, really? Okay then. You set a, a high bar there, Dad, for yourself. My ox, are you planning to do any beauty treatments? <laughs> hey, there's usually only me and Doug. Shows. Jason's coming. Oh, Jason's coming. Okay. And there's a few other crafting men. We actually quite a few at the Morrowfield show. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'd like to leave my guy. Yeah, you will. <laughs> what are those corset things you wear to tuck your gun? That's called a girdle, Dad. Or, um, Spanx. Wow. Depending on which generation you come from. Best they'll be trying to find a big elastic thing to sit around and tuck my tongue in. <laughs> Righty -o. Bit too much information, but yeah. Nothing out of the usual. Right, there we go. And then I don't want to stick down the leaves of this flower cluster up here in particular because I will curl them. As we go. See, I'm just picking and choosing some bits and pieces. Okay, and same with this one. So we're just going to come in and actually, to glue this down, we will need to spread some modeling paste on it, but instead of wasting it, come here, my friend. Let me put some glue on you and make you into a stencil at the same time. Oh, there we go. Now we've got a flower down there and we've got glue on the back of that one. Holy poop, two things in one hit. I'm on a roll. Thank you, Pam. And then I'm just going to come and put oh, some down there. And smush it out to the sides. So there we go. Making sure it's all underneath. So I am just going to start on one side of this one here and then put my help knife down. Well that was not, that didn't work exactly the plan. Showing how much of a klutz I am right now. Ah. I'm a little bit uncoordinated. It does come with challenges. But I get around them. I actually think it's quite fun being uncoordinated. It means you get a lot more laughs out of life. Especially when you trip over the same thing every day. Like if I was coordinated, I would never have this opportunity to learn about steps. Right, there we go. And then oh, just making sure that still lifts up the page. And we just got this big cluster here, and then we'll be on to the next step. Right, and this is just layer by layer, so lifting up one piece at a time, coming in, tucking down, and smushing. And because it's modeling paste, you're still going to get that thick.
thick layer to it. If it was, if you do do this with gel medium, or you will have to take everything off to do the gel, to do it with gel medium, like you'll have to take all the layers off. You can't just go and slide it underneath and um, get the full coverage you want because it's not as thick of a medium as, oh, there's my fan brush. Don't really want him getting modeling paste on him. Um, as thick a medium as the modeling paste, and um, if you do it with gesso, same thing because it's not doesn't have the body you need. If you do do it with hard modeling paste or with hard uh, gel medium, I think it's called. It works. Right, this has stuck to the place ball a little bit, but we are going to come in and get those up in there. Oh, thank you, Marie. Um, oh, then don't stick yet. What are you laughing at? The beach's the only place where salt lowers your blood pressure. Are you just surfing Facebook? Wow. Obviously just not making your life hard enough. I'm sorry I don't give you dimensions to type. Oh. Yeah. I did try and make you work for your money the week that I did that mixed media scrapbook page. Oh, the string gel medium. I have, I think I found what it is. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I actually think it's like gel medium matte, but it's um, got like the consistency of like a stringy type texture to it. So when you apply it, it actually you know it goes quite stringy like stretchy like stretchy cheese um so yeah i haven't been able to get my hands on some of it so i wouldn't know how to use it but i do believe after some research that i do know what it is now um once i figure it out once i once i find some i'll see what i can do with it but yeah it's kind of like a gel medium matte type glue with a string texture. It's like supposed to imitate, I think, ribbons and fibers. It was a thing within uh, the 90s. The feminist movement made it because they were sticking a lot of fur to artworks and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Maybe this is a whole new level of laziness when I have to pick you up and take you to the food hall. She wants to be treated like a queen. Come on. I know. It's just not fair. You have to share the house with me. Yep. Right, share your condolences. Right. And there's that one. There. That's that one. So yeah, I am just trying to get my hands a hold of some of it, Sandra, before I confirm what type of techniques you can do with it. Because I'm just not 100% sure yet, um, but I did do some research on it. Yeah, um, I promise that if you do ask an inquiry and I don't get back to you, it's probably still because I'm doing some research or something like on it. I do get around to them. Um, it's mostly me scanning the research to figure out what others have done with it, and I keep trying to put this lid back in the Sorry, people. Uh, let me just look at my paints box. I'm just trying to find this one particular. I get that blue one, and where is. Um, I'm just 
just trying to find my blue glitter, which was right in front of me. It's really me. And my yellow. We'll be using the Disco Fever from that one there. And probably the Cancer Blue, but I do need a few. Just need some Doctor Tones in there. Is where hold up. Where did that alcoholic go? Sorry, people. There it is. That's the one I wanted. Not that one. Um, and that one there. All right. So we're gonna come in and add some color. We are gonna um. Thank you. Come into. You. What to do with it? Yeah. So I am just trying to get a hold of a bottle of it. Um. Like I said, it was a really big thing in the 90s art movement in America, which was quite surprising for me because, yeah. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to add this as like a shadow color underneath and I'm doing alcohol ink just because it's a little bit more darker than our watercolors and I need I guess that level of contrast because we have a quite light page right now and we are going to keep it light it just needs a little bit of difference contrast I am running out of this color though fun fact It will move a bit easier on the receipt material because it's a bit more of a glossy paper. So just trying to get it so that it's like the background. Oh, that's not stuck down correctly. There we go. Sorry. Yes, it's Thursday. We're back to our original times with teaching. Well, not our original, original, our second original time. There we go. Oh. We are definitely running out of this alcohol ink. Right, there we go. Probably you shouldn't use alcohol ink when my asthma is playing up, but meh. <coughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely a bad idea. Anyway, now that I've said that, let's come in and add some more color. It's with our Lindy's Mist, which I have a little bit left off. We're going to come in and just add some of our dots I'm gonna do that in a few spaces and this is just to match our anchor man here doing this we're just gonna come in go because it's not sitting down Get a bit of a line there, that's okay. We're just there we are, and then we're just going to come in with our paintbrush and mix it up there it's just so then it seems like that line 
It was intentional. Which 100% was. See? 100% intentional. And then we might come and do a few here. And then flip this one over. Put this one oh, over and up there. Oh, that looks quite nice. Put that one there. Put that one there. And put that one there. Right. There we go. Now that we've got all that, we want to come and do is, oh, we're not going to add glitter paint just yet. I'm just going to grab some of this uh, Cancel Tonight watercolour colour. I do think that most of these have a paint um, equivalent these watercolors just a heads up so they do have like a paint equivalent which is quite nice and the art by marlene's and we should have the restocks of them so i'm good um just be wary if you are using watercolors and you get some of the modeling paste on your paintbrush because we did use some modeling paste in one of our layers with um one of our stencils you just have to clean it off before putting your water, your paintbrush back into the um, palette, or else it will um, dry up your watercolor palette. Which isn't nice because it, it's got like a lot of paint in there that you can use. So you definitely don't want it to dry up and come around and paint in these bits here. We're just playing around with some colour here. Come over here. I am trying to stick to our primaries just a bit here, even with my navy, which I'm classifying as a primary tonight. Traditional Marvel behind me just doesn't agree. We have to advise everyone that Monday is a very important day in Gladstone. It's the Gladstone Show holiday, public holiday. Gladstone Show public holiday, even though the show was three weeks ago. So we won't be uh, opening the doors of the shop on Monday or able to do any postage on Monday. It's 
Yeah, the post offices will be closed. Yeah. So. Due to a show holiday that's happening two weeks late. Or three weeks late. I don't actually know how late. The Gladstone Council is just all over this stuff. Yeah. Love you, Gladstone City Council. <laughs> Suck up. Um, you could lower my rates for anything. That's not going to be happening anytime soon, Dad. Oh, thank you. And it looks a bit messy right now. I am trying to paint this fast and all hands will go by the way. Um, okay, I'm going to add the yellow in here. Yes, um, we're still going to do the Monday Night Alive thing um, live with the, I think it's Kays of Papers next week. I think, I don't know for certain. Um, and what was that one, Ray? Oh, okay. We're going to show holiday in this one. That's a bit dodgy. I remember hearing about that on the radio, actually, that you guys don't get. Show holiday. I remember when I was younger, uh, my grandma and my uncle Neville used to take Milton and I to the Gladstone and Mount Larkham shows together. One time, um, my uncle bought me a lovely uh, crystal peacock and um, elephant with its trunk up for Buck. I still have it. We don't see my Uncle Neville a lot at the moment, but yeah. Hopefully one day we will again. Right now we've got that yellow in. Do you need to lift this one up so then the yellow kind of has a few droppies in our stenciled modeling paste bit here. And, um, oh, it doesn't have a show holiday either. Maybe it's just a few places that have show holidays. I don't know. We have a show holiday, but it hasn't been on the right weekend for ages. Um, the last couple of years. Well, Neither does Ipswich. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want ours taken off us. Don't get me wrong. We would just appreciate it if it was on... The same weekend as the actual show. Um, right, here we go. <laughs> so I'm just coming in with my red um, oil pastel. I'm just using my oil pastel just because we've already had um, a lot of watercolour come on here. And we're going to do a bit more watercolour, but this is going to resist the watercolour and stay the colour that it is. 
which is definitely what we want here. So we'll just come in. Okay, so I said the show hold like 26 of all wrist apparently. <laughs> wow. Well then. Yeah. Our show holiday used to be the weekend before the Queen's birthday. So the Queen's birthday was on like the Friday or something. The Queen's birthday was the Monday and the show holiday was the Friday. And everyone used to take a long weekend and leave town. So then they got smart and they made the show holiday the Thursday. So then everyone booked off sick on the Friday and had a five day weekend and left town. Right. Well, there you go, folks. The whole show holiday to Bath. Whole story behind the show holiday. I think I might just come I out just with this. Right bit. Uh, and then I think we might come over here. I know it's a bit busy. I'm sorry about that. We are going to try and less busy it in a moment. Just nice detail it a little bit more like get into the little grooves and nicky bit. Um, Bits and pieces of it. Right. Yes, these are the right colours. I'm just making sure. And then, right. I'm just trying to work out where each bit hits. Uh, sorry, where each bit's going to be highlighted. What's that one there? I used to go to a lot of shows. Oh, you're Arabian horses. That's pretty cool. Now, Pam, you must have gone like everywhere. One day I will travel the world. I will see things. Look at our Harvest Festival, which happens at Easter time. It goes for like a whole week. Maybe industry sponsor things and. We have like a big carnival for a week. So it kind of yeah, the shows never gonna live up to that. No, our harbour festival is quite huge in Gladstone compared to everything else that goes on. Which is a bit ironic. Right. Sorry about that, I was just trying to find my pen and my blue glitter and I've got one. Right, here we go. So we're going to come in and with our thin paintbrush. And come in with this there. Oh gosh. And we do need to outline just a few more of these bits and pieces. Just so then we can see a few more of the joints. It has been a while since we've done a heavy collage page. And the reason why is because they take a bit of time. Also, I am teaching like six classes in Melbourne, so if anyone has any suggestions of what they would like to see at a Melbourne like craft show class, please let me know. Um, I am excited to teach in Melbourne, I just don't know what um, I want to teach. It will be mixed media, heads up, but yeah. Already. Never had them in Sydney. Fair enough. Okay. I guess it's kind of like the Echo Holiday in Brisbane. Right. 
um, this is very busy. I'm just going to come in. I feel like it needs foil, but we definitely can't do that until next week. Because it's just a little bit. I'm going to have me We go. Just gonna add in some blue on the edges here. I'm just following where the stencil's been. Put it up there and then do a bit down there. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my cheesy colour and just do some dots, I think. Um, no, the, so the classes at the Melbourne show is actually where you come and they give you a kit and you create and we teach you how to make the project that's already like pre-made and we can show you and there'll be pictures up. So we will be selling the classes on our online website from next week onwards. We're, um, I'm just, we're finalizing them uh, this weekend um, and I'll be finalizing because mine are mostly collage classes. I have about five where I still have to uh, fully come up with, a, I think, the full concept. So um, actually I think I might have two kind of sorted. I've just got to create them. Um, but yeah, so basically there'll be like a project and all the rest of it. So I just want to know what you guys would like to learn. Like if you could have like an in-person class with me, uh, what would be the thing you would like to learn, I guess? Um, one of them is going to be a watercolour animal uh, that will be on Saturday morning for the kids because we do have quite a few parents that come in with their kids and all the rest of it. So basically... Um, it'll be eight people per class, so we'll have eight kids on the Saturday morning for that one. And then, um, like I said, I think I'm doing about six classes. Um, I'll have to look at my notes again. 
but yeah, so, um, if there's anything that you would particularly like to learn, just kind of let me know. And then, oh, that's okay. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of our glitter, glue paint, and it's in the blue tealy color. I think it will definitely probably need some foil next week. So after we do this, I'm just doing this in three spots. It's just to... Get a bit more there we go and then put some around there I reckon and that I think is nearly done. Oh, we forgot to add the white in. Just add the white to that area, and this is where I wanted to add the white here. Yeah. Just want to flick some white on as well. So just kind of. I reckon there we go. Some, a little bit of white on the tip of our finger. Rub it in. Okay, and I think we might be nearly done. I think, think. I'm just going through and checking around, wiping everything. Here we go, last step. Oh, lost the wood to the pen then. Lift the pen up. Put the pen up and the pen lid oh, went flying. The chemical lead. Right. Okay, I'm just adding these lime green ones here because I think they'll just add. So. How are the classes worth it to show? Step by step. Yeah, yeah. You're a bit late on the up game there, Dan. Oh, yeah. That's just a 
Mm -hmm. Did you use your right by my lens stencil? Your rainbow lens? Uh, no, I went in and did an outline around the modeling piece that we had done. Oh. To highlight it a bit more. Because there's a little stencil that looks like this. Yeah, we did use the stencil originally. That's not the one out of the Advent calendar, though, is it? No, no, no. That's the one with all the different um, elements on it. It's like I've got a lotus flower and stuff on it as well. Oh, thank you. Right. I was just looking for the lid, but I realised I've got to go for a search for that. After class. Because it literally flew. Watch out, flying lids, that could be a cool sign. Right, here we go folks. So I'm just going to lift this eye. up as best as possible to show you. So this here is our art journal class for this week. So we used our skins and as you can see, it's still quite light and... By doing the skins collage, it was actually quite a faster class. If we tried doing those bits there, we'd get very wet and we'd have to do it in two videos. But by having the skins as one of the collage layers already in there, I kind of just made it and it's got like a nice body to it. I'm trying to show you like it's sideways, if you can see the thickness. It is a bit hard to show things that are 3D on lives, I have learnt from past experiences. Um, my computer's glitched. Um, I've got a person on YouTube who said they love the fingerprinting. Oh, thank you. I'm just trying to get back to the YouTube. I lost my lens. Oh, okay. Oh no, thank you, person on YouTube. I don't know who you are, but thank you. And thank you, everyone, for your comments. Uh, thank you, Marie, Marge, Pam, and Tash. Um, so. That is our art class for tonight. Oh, I see who it is. It's on our stream yard thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my YouTube open. Thank you, Liv. Okay, so um, that's class for tonight, sorry. And I was just a bit distracted, shiny object. Uh, uh, next week, we will be peeling off the last of our um, skins. That didn't quite work this week because they're a bit too thin. And then, uh, we'll do another technique. Um, we will also have the, cla the classes up for Melbourne by this time next week uh, for you guys to have a look at them, what we're going to be teaching um, at the craft show. We might do like a few shorts of that as well. Um, and Mum is tomorrow night for Friday Night Live on the main Scrapbook Fantasies page and on her YouTube channel um, where she will be using... Don't know yet, we're working that one out. Surprise! Um, and and our retreat Tropical Ambience does close tomorrow. So anyone who still wants to book into that, please let us know. Or I will order it online uh, because it will close tomorrow morning slash around lunchtime. So just a heads up on that one. So thank you all for coming and I shall see you next week on Thursday. Have a great night. Bye.